Yeah, good morning students. In this video, we will discuss on how to simulate a star topology using Network Simulator 3. So first let us see what is star topology. So a star topology is one in which there will be a centralized monitoring device. Normally uh, we call it as a hub. And the devices are connected to this hub, a simple topology. Like if there are four systems, system 1, system 2, system 3 and system 4, each system is connected to a centralized device. What I mean to say hub. So in the start topology what happens? There is no direct communication between system 1 to system 2. Just like how we add in point to point communication. But if system 1 wants to communicate to system 2, first a system 1 will send a request to the hub, then hub will give connection to system 2, sorry, send a request to system 2, then once the acknowledgement is happened, then system 1 and system 2 will be communicated via hub. So in the same process, whichever the system wants to communicate to another system, so the data should transfer through hub. So this is what a simple start topology, but if you say carefully, if system 1 wants to transfer information to system 2, then system 1 is communicating to hub, which is nothing but a point to point communication, which we have seen in the first program, P2P. Similarly, hub will communicate to system 2, which is nothing but again a point to point. Again, hub will give acknowledgement back to system 1, which is again point to point. So, a start topology is nothing but a multiple point to point topology or point to point communication. So your first program itself is your start topology, but the only thing is uh, we should uh, uh, install the application uh, nothing but a star uh, helper to each and every node. Okay. So there are totally three steps you need to follow. First step, you need to create the number of nodes which you want. Second step, you need to establish a point to point communication between the hub and the nodes and the third step since hub is giving the acknowledgement back to every node we need to install the sync application on top of hub and last node then uh, if system 1 wants to communicate to system 2 now so any system so system 1 and all, all the nodes should know the address of hub so hub address is shared to all the nodes for the purpose of communication that is our last step and finally you can run this simulator so these are the Five steps you need to follow. So directly I will go to the program. So this is what uh, an Ubuntu platform where I have installed the NS3. So already you know uh, how to run the NS3 code. So however I am not uh, explaining much here because uh, the start topology is a simple uh, or multiple point to point connections. Okay. So you can watch my previous video point to point uh, network simulation uh, which is available in the description box okay. so i will go to scratch folder desktop from there you go to ns all in one ns 3.27 there scratch you can see this is the code for a star topology a simple program so you can see these are all the header files and this is what the start topology where as I told you just now the slide N0 is nothing but the centralized device which is nothing but a hub and uh, there are totally uh, 8 nodes connected to this hub. Okay. So that's what I have shown here. I think it's clear. Okay. So this is what your hub and these are all the nodes. So if you see carefully each node N1 is connected to N0, N2 is connected to N0 n3 is connected to n0 like that the point to point communications are there okay. so here we need uh, two applications one is known as on off application so the on off application is one of the package we have where uh, uh, when there is the on the nodes can transfer the data if the off is called then immediately the nodes will stop sending the data that is what the cbr traffic will be stopped so that's what you need to first create a uh, default uh, cbr traffic nothing but on off application uh, so the packet size I have set it is uh, 137 bytes and uh, data rate is 
14 kilobits per second. Whenever the application is on, then uh, the nodes can transfer the data with a packet size of 137 bytes and uh, with a speed of 14 kilobits per second. Okay. And turtle, as I told you, n spokes is one of the variable where uh, I have assigned eight nodes here. Here you can see there are totally three plus three plus two eight nodes are there. So n spokes is eight. Then remaining part is same. I am just calling the point to point helper. The object is point to point, and then I have uh, using this object, I have set the attribute as uh, 5 Mbps, that is data rate, and the delay is 2 milliseconds. And very important is I am calling point to point star helper. So the object here is star, where we need to pass two parameters. One is how many nodes you need to create, and also you need to establish the point to point connection for each and every node. So here, n spokes is nothing but eight nodes, what I have designed here. And point to point I am calling because I need to establish each and every node a point to point connection to the centralized device nothing but a hub that is whatever first step here i have done that the second step is you can normally install the uh, internet stack helper to all the nodes then you need to set the base address this is common steps so this is very important now you need to create the hub application okay that is nothing but a centralized device so here i am taking the port number as some 50000 i think uh, 50 we should not take I will just take, uh, oh yes you can take, because you can have the range from 0 to 65,535, the port number range. So, uh, they have taken the port number as 50,000 and here I am taking the, the variable is hub local address, okay. And that I am getting the socket address. The socket address is nothing but combination of IP address which I am getting from IPv4 get any, one of the default address you will get and port number. The combination of this IP address and the port address is nothing but your socket address. That socket address I am returning to my hub. And immediately I am installing the packet sync helper on top of this local hub. Here I am installing, you can see here, hub applications I am installing to my hub, star dot get hub. So the immediately the E N0 will become the hub with the one of the port address, oh sorry, one of the socket address. So here, I have just uh, created the sync application on top of my hub. So here I have done that. Install the sync applications on top of the hub. And immediately I have started the hub application at one second and I have ended at 10. So now I need to create as I told you know on off application. So I am just calling the on off helper from the TCP socket factory. On time will start when the variable is set to 1. Whenever the variable boolean value is 1, then the on time is started. Whenever the constant value, that is boolean value, random value is set to 0, then off timer is enabled, means it will stop. So, the last step is I need to install the application container on top of all the spoke nodes. So, total we have 8 nodes. So, here I am doing that i equal to 0, i is less than stars dot spoke count. We have spoke count is 8. So, here I have done pre increment. So, now it will be 1. So for first node, I am just taking one of the remote address and then I am getting the socket address of the hub. This is what I am just calling the socket function, internet socket address. I am just getting the uh, hub address with the port number and immediately I am calling the on off helper where I am getting the remote address which is nothing but a hub address. I am storing that in a variable known as remote. Okay. And immediately I am adding that address on top of the node. That's what I am on of helper install get dot sorry start dot get spoke node of one. That the but get spoke node of one. On first node, I am just installing this on of helper, which is nothing but a variable remote, which is nothing but a remote address. So indirectly I am assigning uh, the remote address to the I am telling the remote address which is nothing but hub address to the each node, first node, then again the iteration will start. Now the i becomes 2 and again for the second node I am giving the uh, hub address nothing but a remote address and then I am calling the on off application means uh, whenever it is on it will transfer the data, whenever it is off it will uh, stop the transmitting the data. Like that for all the uh, 8 nodes I am just uh, giving the uh, local hub address and then uh, installing the on off helper on top of it.
So in that way, all the six, eight nodes will get the uh, hub address for the communication. And also on off application is installed. Whenever the node wants to transfer the data, the on off application will be enabled. Whenever the node completes its transmission, off application will be enabled. So immediately once everything is fine, then I am starting the nodes at one second and then stopping at 10 seconds. And here I am calling the IPv4 uh, global routing helper to record all the uh, routing tables for every node. And here I am generating the PCAP files. Uh, enable PCAP all for star. For all the eight nodes, I am enabling the uh, PCAP files. And here I am setting the animation file, which is nothing but star.xml. And then I am stopping the simulation. So let's see the code. How to, let's run the code. So here the animation file name is that you need to be careful star.xml and the pk files is star. Okay, I will just run the code. So just to go to command prompt. Enter into root directory. So navigate to the scratch that is what uh, NS all in folder. From there you go to NS 3.27. Then you just type dot slash web hyphen hyphen run scratch. My file name is star. So just type star. So please remember the uh, XML file name as well as PK file name. Our XML file name is star. Okay. So it takes a couple of uh, seconds to exhibit. Yeah. Okay. Just have a list whether the files are created or not. Here you can see star.xml. Yeah, here the file is created. Just I will show the animation file. PK files already you know, I will, you know already how to run it. So just I will show you the XML file. In order to run the XML file, we need the network animator. Just to go to the uh, all in one 3.27. There's from there you go to net animator. Then you just type dot slash net anim. Then application will open. So here I will just go to browse. Here star.xml file, you can just search it. Here the file is, just open it. Now you can see, this is whatever star topology where eight nodes are created with the centralized hub. So just I will zoom it. So now go for play button. You can see now all are sending the data because all, all nodes is having the hub address and it is responding to the hub is responding to every node. Okay. Because here every node is a sender, every node is a receiver. So all are sending information to all the other nodes via hub. Oops, so you can uh, see I'm making it fast. You can see here, this is how uh, the star topology will help in uh, uh, monitoring the data by the centralized device and the data communication will be taken place by each and every node. Okay. So similarly, you can uh, go for even PK files. You can use the Wireshark tool to open those files and you can analyze. Okay. Okay, students, hope so you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Bye.